Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Palomino HS2902. This camper is compatible on a three quarter ton or one ton truck with a six and a half or an eight foot bed. To get started on the outside, we do have the cool, uh, cool gray high gloss gel coated exterior fiberglass. We also have the friction hinge door, so you just open up the door itself. No door latches and it'll stay right where it is. And it comes with a full size screen door. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. Down below in the bumper on both sides, you will have some storage there. Uh, great for your sewer hoses and water hoses. And since it is the Max series, it also comes with the extra step that will fold down off the bumper. Up top, you'll notice we have the rear awning here. It has the LED light integrated as well. Um, up right below that with the black box here, it is gonna be pre-wired for a backup camera so or an observation camera. You can have that any point in time and that would allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're traveling down the road. We also have the porch light here with the on-off switch on the outside and your roof ladder. For maintenance purposes, you can get up there to maintain the caulk on the roof. Down below is gonna be the uh, pull handles for your gray and black tank. As we move around to the corner, um, we do have the power jacks. There is a remote, which I'll show you on the inside, where you can run each jack individually or all of them at the same time to load and unload the camper. It will come with a 30 pound LP tank bottle and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. Right beside that is an outside shower with hot and cold water. And there's a coil hose sprayer that comes with that as well. Down below here is actually gonna be where the dump station is. So when you pull your gray and black handle, that is where it's gonna come out of. And that is just your traditional four inch opening for just any standard sewer hose there. We also have another powered awning on the side here. You'll notice we have the legs running back to the camper. Um, you could set it up that way or you can have one leg going down to the ground. Whatever works best for your setup, uh, you can run the legs either way there. It is a 30 amp unit. It'll come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your 110 outlets on the outside and cable satellite hookup as well. It's an on-demand water heater, which means it's gas only, but it's only using gas when you're running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than our old style and lighter weight as well. Right here is your water connections. On the left side, we'll fill your fresh so water So if you're dry tank. camping or boondocking, you would wanna fill up the fresh water tank here and you can turn your water pump on to use that water. Or if you're at a campground or at the house, you simply hook up the water hose to the city water connection and that pressurizes the lines for you. Up top, we have your outside speakers and you can see those have a blue LED light in it. And you'll also notice we have the tinted frameless windows. Gives it a really sharp look um, with that cool gray fiberglass. Up front here in the corner, you're gonna have a 12 volt cutoff switch. You can turn the key and kill all 12 volt power to the battery. Underneath that is gonna be another solar, um, or another charging station rather, and that goes directly to the battery. So if you have a portable solar panel, um, you could just plug it in right there, alligator clip it on, and use that to charge the battery up as well. The cord that comes with the camper is a double-sided seven-way male cord. The adapter on the camper is the exact same connection you'd have on the back of your truck. So the cord plugs in here, it'll run all the way down back the side of the camper and plug into the back of your truck. That's what charges the batteries while you're driving down the road and also gives power to the clearance lights. This is a little hanger right here. So when you're done with the seven way cord, you can hang it right here. And also if you're gonna be stopped for the night um, or for a week or so, we recommend unplugging that seven way cord. So that way if it drains the battery on your camper, it will not drain your truck battery. We have the nice fiberglass cap with the Linex lining, that coating on the side there, very durable cap. We have gutters on every corner of the camper as well. So when it's raining, it's gonna shed the water away from the camper. Right here, we have your refrigerator vent with the condensation tube and you do want that hanging out. And then also your furnace vent. And as we move to the back of the camper, um, we just have your power jack back here. And if you have a short bed truck with a six and a half foot bed, you can actually close this section off for storage. If you have an eight foot bed, uh, that just stays open because that's where the, your truck is gonna go. And that concludes our walkthrough for the exterior Palomino HS2902. Now we'll head to the inside. As we move to the inside, we have the remote for your jacks. The yellow buttons in the middle, will run them all at the same time 
or you can run them individually with the white buttons on the outside. The green light below means that you have power to the remote. So that has to be turned on before you can run and operate the jacks. We'll head inside and one unique thing you'll notice with the 2902 is that we have the slide room here with the booth dinette. So it helps to really open up the floor space in here. And then we'll get a nice overview of the camper here. Lots of room. This is a great truck camper if you plan on going out for weeks at a time. Very spacious and lots of storage. And we'll just get started right over here, uh, right in front of the bathroom beside the kitchen area. Your main control panel is gonna be up top and that will control your lights, your awnings, and the water pump, and also let you know how full and empty your tanks are. Down below that, on the right hand side, is gonna be your thermostat for the furnace. And on the left is your control for the on-demand water heater. You can turn it on and off there and also adjust the temperature of the water. This closet can be used as hanging or it has adjustable shelves, whatever fits your needs. You can turn it into that. And you'll see that the power cord and the seven way cord are included with the camper. A couple storage drawers. Down below is gonna be your breakers and your fuses. And then off to the left there is your carbon monoxide detector. We do have the oven with the three burner stove top and that has the cover for prep space. Large single bowl sink here with that cover as well. Nice backsplash, a window in the kitchen. You'll notice a 110 outlet there. Up above with the microwave and the range vent, and that will vent to the outside. Some more storage up top. Up here in the bedroom area, we have your television. Right underneath that is gonna be your stereo. It is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible, and that is also a DVD player. And actually right underneath that shelf will lift up, and there is some more storage under there. This is a queen size mattress, an actual 60 by 80, residential queen size. We have 12 volt and 110 outlets on both sides of the bed up front there. And inside speakers, the windshield up top, and also your max air roof vent cover, or I'm sorry, your max air roof vent that is up top. It is a very powerful fan, and it is designed as an exhaust fan. Over here, we have more storage with the foot locker down below. And I'm gonna open up one of these cabinet doors for you and show you all the storage in here. Lots of hanging storage. And again, that bottom will pull up. You can kind of see the knob there. And you also gain more storage down below there. Come back and take a look at the refrigerator. It is a full-size refrigerator freezer and that is gas and electric. Right underneath that is your furnace. And we also have another 110 outlet right down below. With the dinette, this will turn into another sleeping area and you'll see those pictures on our website. And there's also storage underneath each bench seat as well. Another storage rack in the very back, as well as some speakers up top on the ceiling. The camper is equipped with an air conditioner as well that is roof mounted. And last but not least, we'll take a look at the bathroom area. Up top, we're gonna have another 12 volt fan and a skylight. Medicine cabinet, you'll see that's the shower head there on the right hand side. Large counter space with a nice size sink. Storage area for your toiletries. And then the toilet area. This is considered a wet bath. And that will conclude our walkthrough for the Palomino HS2902. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to contact myself or Henry with any questions that you might have. Our phone number is 866-338-9845. Thank you for watching and have a great day.